So first off, there's going to be multiple different types of flux. There's going to be cobalt flux, fluorescent flux, violet flux, crimson flux, and yellow cake flux. So that puts us at five different types of flux. And this is, I would say, a pretty uh, end game or high level material that you'll have to go into. Uh, you'll have to be able to survive and loot and combat in nuke zones in order to collect enough flux to then uh, stabilize. So there's a lot of flowers throughout the map and um, when a nuke lands all the flowers in that area pretty much, pretty much becomes radiated and mutates into a certain type of flux that you want to collect. Um, and I'll go ahead and have a map of where all the fluxes are. So if you're looking for a specific flux to craft something, um, then you can go ahead and see where you can drop your nukes or the best areas uh, if a nuke is dropped, like what kind of flux you can get from that region. I will also have a screenshot of what flowers uh, turn into what kind of flux in case you want to look for them that way. When you go into a radiation zone, you're going to need to be able to get glowing mass, hardened mass, high radiation fluids, and then the raw flux itself, which is pretty much just harvesting radiated flowers. Um, and getting the glowing mass, hardened mass, and radiation fluids is pretty much by killing glowing enemies in, within the nuke zone. Um, for, those of the, for those of you that don't know, when you nuke an area, uh, pretty much all the mobs in the area turn glow or become have like a glowing status and uh, some of them some mobs aren't affected by that but most are like ghouls you'll see glowing ghouls um, so pretty much fighting those kind of guys you'll and looting their bodies you'll be able to find all the other material needed to stabilize the flex so pretty much once you collect the flower it's like food it can rot and um, pretty much become useless if you're not fast enough once they're stabilized then the um, they won't, they won't uh, expire anymore, so you, then you can just hold on to them like in your stash or in your inventory and use them for all your crafting needs. In terms of what uh, stabilized flux can be used for, they're mainly used for things like um, a lot of under armor upgrades, like if you want to upgrade the vault suit or sometimes uh, power armor uh, mods if you're crafting mods for your power armor. Like for my excavator set, I want to craft some the stabilizing mod for the left and right leg to give me extra carry weight on top of the carry weight bonus, but I need violet flex. And so today we're going to go ahead and get some flex and I'm just going to show some gameplay of uh, in a nuke zone and and collecting flex. And I'll have a link to all of the maps uh, that a Reddit user created, which pretty much shows where all of the different uh, fluxes are. So if you're going to be sending nukes, uh, you can launch your nukes in a sp particular area, which will yield a certain amount of flux or like a, a particular flux. Um, the really popular regions, which is pretty much um, Right now, the really popular areas to get nuked is going to be in order to spawn the queen or to spawn a colossal problem. Um, in the queen area, which is pretty much the um, Cranberry Bog region, there is a lot of violet, crimson, and yellow, um, yellow cake flux. So if you're joining a queen event, or let's say the event's already done but the nuke blast is still there, I believe a nuke blast lasts for an hour, um, you can travel, fast travel to that area or travel to that area and just go in there, harvest whatever you can, kill some glowing enemies. Um, and then up where a colossal problem starts, um, there's a bit less of flux there. It looks like there's a lot of yellow cake flux in that area. Uh, you guys can look at the map as well just to kind of see. A little bit of crimson flux, a little bit of cobalt flux, um, and fluorescent flux is much is not really in either of those two nuke sites. So if you want fluorescent flux, you might have to end up nuking an area that won't spawn a boss, um, just so that you can get the flux. But yeah. So let's go ahead and go over to a nuke zone, and like usual, I'm gonna prepare some. You're gonna. I have my power armor for anti-radiation and then I'll probably pop a rad X and then we'll go ahead and see if we can kill some things. I do advise that you're at least level 40, maybe higher level in order to go into a nuke zone just because the enemies there are quite um, pretty tough. Enemies there are pretty tough, glowing enemies. And there are some perks that will help you with this. Um, we can go ahead and take a look. So according to my research on the internet, good with salt, uh, even though it specifies food, it does work with flex. So when you're collecting those flowers that last a bit longer in your inventory, keep in mind that fast traveling does take a chunk out of the spoil rate of your uh, of, of the flower. So try not to fast travel too much when you have them in your inventory, but good with salt will help. And, um, and the green thumb will also help. I believe Green Thumb is a perception perk? Yeah, it is a perception perk and I highly recommend it uh, simply because it'll pretty much double your yields. 
um, when you're collecting the flux so there's a chance like while you're collecting them you'll get a lot more and it'll just make it a lot easier to accumulate a bunch of flux because you do, do need 10 flux to stabilize it in a chemistry bench um, but those are the perk cards that I think are worth mentioning. If there's anything else that I may have missed, please let me know in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and head into a nuke zone, and I'll just show you guys some gameplay of what the flux will look like. All right, guys, I might have to get the I might have to get Violet Flux another day, as I was not able to find a server with the nuke site that I wanted. Um, I was hoping after about 10 to 20 minutes of server hopping, nobody's doing the queen fight on nukes. It's mostly just up here. So, but just for gameplay wise and for you guys, I'll go ahead and go into this nuke site and we'll gather the materials for the flux provided in that zone. All right, so this is the nuke site. We're gonna go ahead and head right in. Oh, okay, so like, I guess these are close enough to the nuke site, nuke site where they're already giving me um, radiated. It's a raw, raw cobalt flux here. This one's probably raw crimson flux. This one's giving me uh, raw yellow cake. This one's giving me uh, raw yellow cake, and those are pretty much going to be all the flowers or all the cobalt in this region right here according to the map. Um, so we're just going to go in um, and collect flowers just like this. Now we're in the new zone. Let me go and pop a rad, a rad X really quick. And I'm going to hope to find some enemies, although there may not be any glowing enemies in this region because it is kind of just in the mountainside here. Um, we may have to go to the location in order to find some glowing enemies, but um yeah let's go ahead and do that actually and we'll just pick up flowers and everything on the way ah uh, here we go i see some glowing guys looks like it might be a glowing mole miner and more things to collect right here some radberries pretty much you just want to collect all the irradiated flowers and you'll see in the top left all the things i'm finding some gloam sap sap is now cobalt flux and then we're gonna go back over here and we are gonna need to kill quite a bit of glowing enemies too so I'm hoping that there's some glowing enemies oh it is a glowing Yao Guai and it's level 76 so yes they are pretty high level <laughs> all right and on this guy right here we have the high radiation fluids are you glowing super mutants yes super mutants don't end up being coming glowing but we're gonna fight them in either way. Right here on this guy, he has glowing mass, so that's what we need right there. So even if they aren't technically glowing, as long as they're in the nuke zone, I do believe they will have a chance of dropping the supplies we need. And you can see in the aid that all of this shows up and it looks like we're still doing okay. We have 30 raw yellow cake flux, which would be able to make um, three stabilized flux. Yeah, let's head deeper into Site Bravo. I'm curious if there's more enemies, because I don't think we have the other mats that we need. They appear temporarily. There's super mutants nearby. Are they over this rock? Oh, I hear them. Ooh, a Deathclaw too. Right there, he's got some glowing mass. Alright, and I'm ADS glitched again in my heavy weapon. High radiation fluids. Like, uh, I don't know when they're gonna fix the heavy weapons, but uh, they're a little broken right now. Like right now, I'm not holding any buttons or any mouse buttons, but it's like glitched like I'm zoomed in. It's giving me like the zoomed in speed without actually being zoomed in. Oh, there we go. Yep, more glowing mass, cool. And then we'll go ahead and TP out. And we can go down to Nuked Flora. And right here you can see Stable Yellow Cake Flex. We have needs one Glowing Mass, one Hardened Mass, one Radiation Fluid, and then 10 Raw Yellow Cake Flex. And um, yeah, we can go ahead and do this to craft it. Um, there are perks where there's a chance whenever you make something, there's a chance like you get double. I have the perk card on screen, but when, if you have that perk, it does apply to Flex. Um, apparently, um, the chemistry perk though does not apply to flux, so yeah, so here and you make, and once you craft it, it will no longer be in aid. I believe it's now then stored in junk, uh, right here. So it takes 10 unpure or uh, it takes 10 unstable yellow cake flux 
and then once you stabilize it, it becomes pure or stable flux, but you only get one. So it's a 10 to 1 conversion. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find all the flux you 